Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to partake of the meal of our risen Lord. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just. Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, 
Lucius of Cyrene, Manaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today emphasize the wonder of being chosen and sent. In our first reading today, we heard that the church in Antioch was engaged in the liturgy. They were engaged in prayer, and as they were worshiping the Lord, the Holy Spirit spoke and told them to set apart Barnabas and Saul for a work that the Holy Spirit wants them to do. And what is this work that the Holy Spirit has assigned to Barnabas and Saul? From Antioch, they were asked to go to Salamis. And this constitutes the first missionary journey of St. Paul, the first of the three missionary journeys of St. Paul. And this first missionary would be a journey of about 1,600 kilometers. Barnabas and Saul were chosen by the Holy Spirit in order to make this journey and to proclaim Jesus. In our Gospel today, Jesus himself tells us that he has been sent by the Father to a mission in the world. Jesus himself was chosen and was sent in order to be the light of the world, in order to speak the word of the Father, and in order to save the world. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today make us understand the difference between volunteerism and mission. The difference between a volunteer and a missionary. In volunteerism, the initiative starts from oneself. I will volunteer myself to do a task, to do some work. It starts from oneself. I want to do this task. And because it starts from oneself, one is in total control of everything. I will determine the work I want to do. I will determine when I want to do it. I will determine when I want to stop doing it. Ang isang volunteer, kontrolado niya ang mga bagay-bagay dahil nagvo-volunteer siya. Kusang loob ang kanyang paggawa ng isang bagay. Gagawin ko kung ano ang gusto kong gawin. Gagawin ko kung kailan ko gustong gawin. At ititigil ko kung kailan ko gustong itigil. And no one can stop me from stopping what I am doing because I am a volunteer. I am making the initiative and so I am free to stop doing what I chose to do. It is totally, totally different in mission. A missionary is someone who is chosen and sent. Pinili at isinugo para gawin ang isang tungkulin, ang isang mission. For a missionary, yes, volunteerism is also important. To give oneself is also important. But what is more important is what 
the, the will of the one who chose and sent me is. My concern is not what I want, but what the one who chose and sent me wants. Come to think of it, my dear brothers and sisters, anyone could volunteer, but not all can be chosen and sent. That is why there is something special in mission. There is something special in a missionary because a missionary does not just volunteer himself or herself. A missionary is chosen by God for a mission. A missionary is chosen and sent. Pinili ka talaga ng Diyos para sa natatanging tungkulin na iyan. My dear brothers and sisters, are you just a volunteer or are you a missionary? Are you just volunteering yourself or do you know that God has chosen and has sent you? And where does God send you? Where is God sending you? What is the work that God wants you to do? My dear brothers and sisters, because a missionary is chosen and sent, then God trusts the missionary. Dahil pinili ka ng Diyos, alam ng Diyos ang kakayanan mo, Alam ng Diyos ang handog sa iyo, kaya alam ng Diyos at pinili ka ng Diyos para sa gawain yan dahil alam ng Diyos kaya mong gawin yan dahil sa mga regalo, mga biyaya, mga talento at kakayanang ibinigay sa iyo ng Diyos. Pinili ka para gawin ang isang tungkulin, ang isang misyon dahil ikaw talaga ang gusto ng Diyos para sa mission na iyan. Our mission may vary. We have different missions in life. My mission is to become a priest. Your mission may be is to become a father or a mother, to be a son or a daughter, to be a companion and a friend, to be a leader in society, to work in a company, in a factory, in an office. Maybe your mission is to do something for other people. Your mission is to cook. Your mission is to sing. Your mission is to share your talents. We may have different missions in life to which God calls us. Let us do our mission well. I remember the words of Pope Francis to young people. He told the young people and invited them, live a mark on this earth, a unique mark that you alone can live. And you can live this mark, he said, by doing your mission well. And if you fail to do your mission, if you do not do your mission, Pope Francis said to the young people, then you are depriving this earth and even heaven of something that you alone can offer. Pwede rin na, pwede, ang mga salitang ito ay pwede rin sa ating lahat. Gawin natin ang ating mission sapagkat pinili tayo ng Diyos para sa misyon na iyan. Malaki mang misyon, simple mang misyon, pinili ka ng Diyos para sa misyon na iyan. Gawin mo ng buong husay, sapagkat sa oras na tinigil natin ng paggawa ng misyon, ipinagkakait natin sa mundo, sabi ni Pope Francis, at kahit sa kalangitan, 
ang isang bagay na tayo lamang ang makagagawa. Na ikaw lamang ang makagagawa dahil ikaw ang pinili ng Diyos para sa misyon na iyan. My dear brothers and sisters, we are all chosen and sent by God because by virtue of baptism, we have been chosen as children of God. We are chosen and sent because God trusts us. God believes in us. May we be faithful missionaries of God. And may we never disappoint the one who chose and sent us. God never intended us to die. He created us for life, but we chose death. Christ our Redeemer restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through Him. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our Pope and bishops may continue to proclaim the good news of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may imitate the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people in nations afflicted by poverty may be drawn to Jesus who become poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised up to eternal joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. All-powerful God, our lives rest in your hand. Trusting in your provident care, we bring our petitions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. For creation, for theory, for this one, for the fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and become for us the bread. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we, we, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host this evening is the parish community of the Archdiocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Loreto here in Sampaloc, Manila. And so let us gather once again as a family, as a community, in order to ask the intercession of Our Lady for healing for those who are sick, for our family, our friends, for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Leitare, Alleluia. Ti portare, alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, alleluia.